So this picture here is showing us the scapula, and this is the acromion. Okay, so I hope my uh, my cursor is visible. It's moving to everybody, and then uh, and so here here's a, here's a spinal scapula. So you have the super scapular super spinous fossa and the infraspinous fossa, and the significance of this is that the nerve super scapular nerve, which come from the C5 uh, level of the brachial plexus, enters the super spinous fossa, and it has a branch immediately. And then it has a branch laterally that goes under the acromion to then in, enter the infraspinous fossa. So what this means is that these nerves actually supply the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus. They actually share the same nerve. And um, what we're going to learn is that um, these nerves actually perfectly mirror acupuncture points that we learned that have been passed down to us. For instance, this is a picture that my group and I have done a dissection for. And just help you orient you once again, this is the superior angle of the scapula right up here. This is the spinous scapula and this is the chromium. So this is actually the, the, the left scapula, which is different from the image you saw just earlier, which is the right scapula. But nevertheless, you see the super sca scapular um, nerve entering the supraspinous fossa. And what we've done here is we, we chiseled out the supraspinatus muscle and turn it over like a, the pages of a book. It's called reflection in, in anatomy. So that you can appreciate that the suprascapular nerve innervates the, the uh, supraspinatus muscle from underneath. And then as the nerve continues around underneath the acromion, it enters the infraspinous fossa. And once again, we chiseled out the, the muscle, so you can see that this is the bone itself, and reflected the muscle, so like you appreciate that the, the nerve, the infraspinous branch of the suprascapular nerve innervates the infraspinous muscle. And so what it turns out is that these branches are actually um, represented by traditional acupuncture points. And you'll notice that I call this point small intestine 11 C. C stands for classic. That is to say it is different than the modern location, which we all know is more about um, uh, uh, one third, uh, one half distance of the um, spinous fist process, and then one third of the distance between the spine to the inferior angle. But this position was seen different from the, from the modern location. And, that, and then this is also part of my research. I have looked at the traditional locations and specifically from the systematic classic, which is called Jinjo Jia Yijin. And for instance, Jinjo Jia Yijin doesn't give us any complicated fractions about how to locate this point. It simply says it's a locating depression below the large bone. Okay, so based on palpatory anatomy, the largest bone would probably be the acromion. So it's simply telling us that this nerve or this point, is, this is the acromion right here, is directly underneath the acromion. And very fortunately, this location is actually right on the nerve as opposed to the fractional modern locations are in um, individual muscular septums. They're not actually on the nerve itself. So unfortunately with the limitation of time we have, I cannot show you all my research, but this is what I'll be teaching you when I come to Australia, is to, is to hope inspire you and amaze you just how precise the new anatomy is when it comes to the acupuncture point location that's been passed down in the classics.